decide to come. How long has it been? You've been hiking for now. Um. Well, what time is it? So it's been probably almost four hours. We've been down on track. It's still going to be a little hard. Yeah, we do. Pretty good. I really want to go somewhere where there's like some of the fucking snow. That's pretty high, man. I know. Well, there's one up there. That's probably the closest. You could probably get up there with Touch. the rocks. Touch. <laughs> I didn't want to start camping. I think it was here. It's probably too much effort to pop in the bag or anything else. It is too much effort. <laughs> but people just want to do you know, Instagram or more shit. Yeah. Either that or just, they're just crazy. I think Instagram is basically more like here and here. It's really like eight hours high. Mm. I wonder how far down in Australia that fucking argument. Yeah. Echo! Siri, how far is it? Echo! Oh. Wait, is that echo? Echo! Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Echo! Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I have a boozy, please? Please. Echo. Let's be pretty close to the glacier then, I mean, that's why there's more water. Yeah, we should be. That was a good little stream, that one we found. It's pretty good. Perfect, clean, moist, moist water. Moist and cold water. <laughs> that chick, I don't understand. <laughs> Coke Zero, just I guess my my only defense for her would be like I guess she bought it and then she's like, oh I couldn't finish it. I didn't want to throw it away. Yeah. I don't know, fuck me too I guess it's cheap. It's cheap, yeah. Like instead of guess just go and buy like five hundred mil. <laughs> just fine. It was just fine. Coke Zero. And it happens to be like a shit hostel or something. So. Yeah. But you get, you get what you pay for. We pay for depression. 
jobs more of what we're doing right now. Like, like, you know, more imaginary of the guy in jail, you know? Yeah. Could you imagine anything else better than... Um, besides, like, you know, different season, obviously, you talk about yeah. snow and shit. This is pretty, uh, this is pretty dope. <laughs> no, like, because I know you haven't done it before, but like, this is what you imagine like in your movie, like? Yeah, I think so. I, minus the clouds. Yeah, you would expect, like, to be really clear. I thought, it, yeah, I didn't expect the clouds to be But there. the thing is, it only rolls in in the morning. Yeah. Like, you know, when, when we come up, you can see, like, the clouds start coming in. Because mm. at night it was nothing. Because mm. obviously sun and water. Because mate. <laughs> <laughs> sun plus water. Because <laughs> mate. <laughs> <coughs> it's logic. It's, it's a true logic. Cloud made out of oxygen and nitrogen. <laughs> so it's a sprinkle of water and the sun and the sun ray. <laughs> because mate. Because mate. <laughs> I think you, this is the second time you laugh loud. <laughs> the, the, the first time you laugh really loud was like the time when I oh, oh, I could be, I could be in chess and I could I can't play checkers. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was like a, that was a really subtle meme. Oh, shit. I'm gonna check it.
very good so far. Coming to an end, but uh, but it's been very good. Very, very enjoyable, very satisfying, uh, tiring at times, uh, but we've done a lot, we've seen a lot. Um, yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been a good time. You ready to go home? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Would be good to stay a little bit longer, but, uh, but yeah, time, time to go home, time to go back to the miserable life, the working life. Is it really miserable? No, nah, it's not that miserable. It's just way better traveling, you know? <laughs> Yeah. At times, at times, but it's it's good. It keeps your your brain occupied. Keeps your your mind occupied. Is there a time that you want to just go in the towel? Nah, don't give up that easily, man. Got to keep going. Got to keep got to keep fighting the good fight. <laughs> After ten hours of fighting. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Just got to keep going, keep going through it. You just got to think of think of what's waiting for you at the end. It was pretty grueling. The first half of it was was pretty hard because most of it was uphill. Um, but it was good once we got to the other end. Got some really good photos. Got the classic Trolltunga photo off the the cliff, which was good. Uh, on the way to there, um, pretty much all the valley was filled with clouds, which was a good sight. And then on the way back, it was kind of the clouds were starting to dissipate, so you could kind of see the both the what it looks like both ways, which is good. Glacier. It's pretty surreal. It's um, it's it's pretty incredible how much water can gush out of out of one glacier. Like, and the fact that it's all just melted water from from it being so hot is it's pretty incredible. It's very very blue. But yeah, it's good. Oh yeah, it's pretty sad seeing pictures of the glacier every year, and every year it gets kind of smaller and smaller and smaller so one day it'll don't know when but most of them will be gone completely so it's good that we live in a time where we can still enjoy it i guess yeah it's a new for the future for the kids a little bit yeah you know the fact that my grandchildren might not be able to see see the norway glaciers one day yeah. but hey what can you do yeah. where are we off to now uh at the moment we're on a ferry on our way to allison about a Two hours drive away. Should be should be a good drive. Last main drive of the trip for me at least. Still plenty left for you. <laughs> you still got your fill to come. Anything you wish you've done more? No, not really. I think we did we did quite a bit of everything, to be honest. I'm pretty satisfied with the amount of stuff that we did. We're never in one spot for too long, always going, doing stuff, using our time valuably so no 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 regrets any advice for someone who come to Norway? get ready for the hikes <laughs> I think if you want to see most like the best of what Norway has to offer you kind of have to be willing to put in some hard yards with the hikes because yeah. that's the way that you get to see the the real the real good side of Norway I reckon yeah anything bother you in Norway Ooh, the driving can be a bit annoying sometimes. A lot sometimes the, the the roads are really narrow, uh, so it's not wide enough for two cars to come through. So you have to play that game of giving way to people and waiting for them to come through. And sometimes it's kind of dangerous because you the road will be super narrow and you'll be coming around a bend, and you're not sure if there's going to be a car zooming past. So it's a bit dangerous driving. That's probably really my only complaint, I would say. But you know, a pretty minor thing the bus tours oh yeah there was a lot of coach buses going around and you know the annoying tourists on board and stuff you know standing out in the middle of the road trying to take photos but hey what can you do you get that you get that most places but I think you see it more here just because of how just because of the road system and everything yeah so those are only two grinds pretty much yeah yeah the rest of it was it's a good time oh yeah the Norway, Norway food isn't that cultured. It's more Americanized. It's more like you know, you go to a restaurant and you get a burger or a pizza or something. You know, there's not like much pure Norwegian food. But the places that we went were pretty rural and pretty country. So maybe that's why. Maybe in Allison there'll be there'll be more proper Norwegian food. If you have to talk to the future self, you now what would you say? Uh, the future of myself. I don't know. Just. 
cherish the memories that you, you had while you were traveling because I'm pretty sure in about a month month's time it'll just feel like a distant memory the holiday and everything so yeah just keep keep checking back and looking at the photos and remembering the good times Sure, you can see me down there. Truman is currently my house down there. Um, it's quite windy and foggy at the moment, so I'm just here waiting for it. This is it, man. Tomorrow's the last day. It's sad, but we've done we've done a lot, done a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. Seen a lot of things. Pretty pretty satisfied. It's been a good trip so far, definitely. Are you, are you tired? A little bit. <laughs> All the hiking. <laughs> it's been uh, yeah, it's been it's been tiring, but it's been good. It's been good. We've got got, got a lot done. We've never really standing still, which is good. Oh, they know where I am. They follow my Instagram. They know that I'm safe. <laughs> they they know that I'm okay. Technology, <laughs> Technology yeah. That keep, keeps them keeps them informed. That's right. Shit. Yep. Damn. How's Damn Allison? Man. Allison's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty chill little city. It's probably the biggest city we've been to so far, besides Bergen, which is where we landed at the airport, but the first city that we've kind of like done any real exploring in. Mm. Everything else has been pretty rural, pretty country. Um, but it's, it's nice seeing a lot of people around for a change. It's good. How's not, not being tourists. <laughs> How's Bill? Bill's good, mate. Bill's fantastic. Does it, does it change in any way of his impression of like now that you spend a lot of time together? Nah, mate. He's still, still the same, the same, the same Bill Collins, the same guy. No change. <laughs> Doesn't he push a little bit too hard on you? Nah, I don't reckon. And if anything, it's a, it's a it's a good thing. keeps us keeps us going and seeing stuff. So it's, it's good. Mm. Okay. Last word. Last word. Norway is amazing. <laughs> Visit Norway. <laughs>